Hi again guys and welcome back to my channel. For this video, it's gonna be quite different because I will just be a voice today and I will be sharing how I created the looks for Nicole and Samantha for their latest content shoot and they are two beautiful queens who deserve nothing but the best so let us start. Of course, I always start by cleaning the face with some micellar water to remove any oil or makeup. And for Samantha, it's my first time doing her makeup so I would normally stare at a client's face first or kind of check the features of the client or the muse so that I know which techniques to use for their specific eye shape or face shape. And I also ask a lot of questions if they have a preferred product or if there's a style that they want or if they have any allergies with any brand that's very important i am using an eye cream from la mer i love this one because it just plumps up the under eyes so that all of my concealers work and adhere better onto the skin because for me more than the makeup products Prepping the skin with the right skincare is crucial and necessary step to achieve a healthy glowing skin which is always what I kind of aim for for any look that I do. And as you see almost on many of my posts, I am obsessed with these cryo free sticks from Strokes Beauty Lab. It just wakes up the skin, it depuffs, it reduces inflammation or any bloatedness, and it also helps the skin absorb all of my skincare products better. I also apply lip balms or lip oils as I prep the skin so that I'm sure that the lips absorb the moisture and it stays hydrated all throughout the session or the shoot and again my style is different i like to start with eye makeup this way i spend most of my very important time on the most important part for me which is the eyes also the skincare gets more time to be activated when i play more on the eyes instead of the foundation right away Recently, I have been loving the eye crayons by Sunny's Face. I just like how it's so easy to use. It gives a very stunning color payoff. It doesn't crease or budge. It lasts a long time. So it will serve as an amazing base for any eye makeup look. The look I'm creating for Nicole is like an open cut crease. Uh, it's just basically focusing the depth of color on the crease and cutting it with a light eye primer or concealer to widen the appearance of the existing eyelid space. And this technique, uh, it's very in now but I think this was really big during the mod and hippie era. While on Samantha, I will create a modern graphic liner but still in the same color family as Nicole's makeup which actually the story for today is quite uh, it kind of goes around the story of contour so like contouring the face contouring the eyes and so I only use browns for today and I usually like to make looks that are very cohesive or like I call it same same but different Meaning to say, there's something similar in both looks, but they are not really alike. I am using the new foundation on my kit which is the Dior Forever Skin Glow. Um, I actually found out about this on TikTok and it is actually a nice long lasting base that gives off a very glowy luxurious finish. And I also didn't use any primer for 
this look um yes i sometimes skip primer number one is if it's gonna be just a quick shoot i skip it or in this case since i want the skin to show through i use less makeup and also the texture of the skin which is actually not a bad thing skin texture is very in and very good right now and now as i've shared my story for today is about contour so it is time for my most favorite product at the moment or maybe i just really like it because it's such a good discovery recently i have been loving the nars sunkissed bronzing cream in laguna of course this is a classic it's unbeatable this classic shade but in a very new um innovative formula and all i can say is wow i really love this product i've never been into cream bronzers or cream contours but now because of this i am always very excited to use it and apply it on shoots so you see even products um, can turn into inspirations when doing makeup and yeah if you love bronzers and cream products you have to drop everything or anything that you're doing right now and go get this product this is so good contouring or contour is such an important part in the makeup process because it shades, it frames, it sculpts any area you put the contour product into. And the most famous type of contouring known to almost everyone is the contour on the cheeks. But contour is actually done all over the face. So this technique is necessary when especially you're doing photographs or TV so that the makeup doesn't look flat. And the technique I did today in the eyes again is almost like a contour technique. And of course, we also use contour for the nose area, for the lips. That's why um, darker lip liners are very in right now um, because it gives off an effect of plumpier and fuller looking lips. After that, I set everything with a light dusting of the Laura Mercier loose powder also another classic product if you're looking into investing in a really good and effective product this one is a good one and of course for the eyebrows i am very much into fuller looking eyebrows with a lot of hair instead of filling it in entirely with product i don't like excess product on the eyebrows so my product of choice in creating uh, hair like strokes of course is the microblade pen perfector from strokes beauty lab i always use this not because i did the campaign or because momo is a friend but because this is just a good product and ever since this came out i replaced all of my products with just the eyebrow collection from strokes and of course when i do makeup um, i always step back a little to check um, on how i'm doing or on what needs to be retouched or what needs to be emphasized more but if there's nothing more i need to do on the certain on other parts of the face i just go to the lips and i finish off with nude peach tones but with a little bit of gloss because we are more on the mat on the eyes so when doing makeup you just need to play with textures as well makeup is also about balancing like you can't have it all just in one face you just need to somehow pull back a little sometimes so that the look or the makeup looks more cohesive and more appealing and more relaxing to the eyes it's not about shocking effects all the time but sometimes it just kind of looks nicer when it's done tastefully and you know it's kind of hard for me to explain <laughs> that part because i know a lot of people like to do all of the steps of the makeup in every look and what i'm saying is sometimes you just need to know when to stop i think that's it and for the final touch actually upon checking the face from afar and looking at it i felt like i need to add 
a little bit of the gel eugenio touch the sharpening of the inner corner lengthening the eyes and i feel like that is my style you know very cat eye cat like and i needed to add a little bit of glitter so i added a little bit of a bronze glitter onto the inner corner it actually almost looks like tears but fierce tears so <laughs> i don't know if that's a thing but that's how i could say that is and that is it for today again thank you guys for watching i hope you learned something from this video also if you haven't uh, subscribed please subscribe on my channel i am trying my best to uh, put out videos weekly um, and also follow me on instagram tiktok uh, at thank you again and i'll maybe see you soon bye